Hi guys, it's your girl Shanti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For my new subscribers, you're welcome. You're definitely on the right channel for my old subscribers. Thank you guys so very much for always tuning in. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how I locally fry my vegetable, which we locally call here in Jaman Jama, that will be eating with fufu corn and some kati kati. So I'm going to take you guys through the process, how I do, how I fry my Jaman Jama. I do my kati kati that is going to be eating with fufu corn. So without talking too much, let me introduce you guys to the ingredients and let's get started. So guys, this is our meat, tomatoes, onion, and meat frying. I just put in one hamarano uh, pepper, go to the flavor of the meat. Like you do not say the flavor of fresh pepper, so then you are going to be using a little bit of fresh pepper, so you keep that as a good flavor. Like I said, I'm going to put on the cutie cutie, I don't add much tomatoes in my hamarano. I just try it because I want it to be I like just have that piece of meat to so, this is my leftover tomato and onions and pepper which I'm going to be using in you know, cut cutting. So guys, we are going to let this fry for more twenty minutes to come up. So we're going to stir this around and show you guys what it looks like. So guys, this is one of the Jama of frying up and ready to be taken off the feet. At this point, I'm going to see it. Like, at this point guys, one of the Jama is ready to be taken off the feet. So I'm going to put this down and proceed with the frying of our kati kati. Stay tuned to get to the end of this video, okay? Look at that dream. Mm -hmm. After watching this video, who wouldn't want, who wouldn't want to make popcorn and jaman jaman with kati kati guys? Look at that jaman jaman man. Look at her dream. Like, can you see? Can you see? Okay, guys. So let me put this down and proceed with the final of our kati kati. So guys, my oil has been heating up nicely. I'm going to go in with our onions, our tomatoes, and some fresh peppers. I'm just going to let this cook down for like five minutes for the tomatoes to be well dry because I don't know if it's in Kati Kati and seeing some fresh fresh grains of tomatoes or some fresh chunks of tomatoes inside. So I'll just let it fry down for five minutes until it's dry and then I'll show you guys what it looks like and we we'll proceed. This is our tomatoes all fried. I'm going to be doing it with some seasoning that is maggi. And then I'll be adding it with a pinch of salt because the chicken is well seasoned with salt and maggi. Like I always, like I said, cook to the preference of your choice to the taste both of your family. Adding whatever thing that you feel makes your food taste better. And your family enjoy it that way. So I'm going to be going in the the full spoon, a uh, half spoon. Sorry, I'm going to I'm going to be going in with a little bit of black pepper. That is how I love my kati kati. <laughs> and I'm going to be going in with a little bit of country onion. I just love it this way. So. Cook according to your taste. Do what makes your food taste better for you, okay? Then I'll just stay. I 
think I'm going to be adding our chicken now. So we're going in with our chicken. Remember this chicken has been well seasoned and steamed earlier. So guys, this is our pot of goodness. This is our katsu katsu. I'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes. So this the black pepper, the white pepper. Sorry, so the black pepper and the crunch onion, the tomato, the onions, the flavors of that fresh pepper and the palm oil itself will enter. You get what I'm saying? We'll marry inside that chicken. Oh my god. So, guys, I'll come back later to show you guys what it looks like. I just have to let this cook for 10 minutes. See you. So, guys, we are all done and this is our pot of katsu katsu. Tell me you don't want to eat this goodness. Tell me you are not hungry. Oh my god. Guys, you need to taste this. This is amazing. Oh my god. What's stopping you from going to your kitchen and make yourself catty catty now? What is stopping you? What is stopping you? Hey! Hey! Guys, look at this. Look at this goodness. Look at this gorgeousness. Look at this yumminess. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> we are going to be devouring this with some fufu corn and chaman chaman. Okay? So I'll let you guys know as I proceed. Stay tuned and keep watching. Oh my god. Like if you're having an occasion and you want somebody to do the, a proper kati kati for you, hit me up. If, if you don't want me to put black pepper or conch onions in your kati kati, let me know. I'll do it exactly as you want. Like, I am an expert in this. I'm not bragging. I'm not uh, bragging this with anybody. I am an expert. For those of you who have been eating my fubu and kati kati, you know what I'm talking about. Drop a comment on the comment section below. If you are going to be creating this recipe, drop a comment on the comment section below because this is everything. This is... What's stopping you from making this as your Sunday meals after church? Just imagine going to church and coming back and having this for lunch. Oh my God. This is so amazing. It's super delicious. So guys, let's continue with our cooking. <laughs> 